It's tough to really grasp how big the universe is, but the James Webb Telescope is giving us some amazing peaks into its farthest reaches. Guys like Brian Cox are using this data to explain how unbelievably huge it is. We're talking about maybe two trillion galaxies in the part we can see. And that's just a tiny fraction of what might be out there. We're part of all this. We're even how the universe figures itself out, in a way. So, the James Webb Telescope is helping us go on an adventure to see how big it really is. If you want to stay in the loop about space news, subscribe to this channel. And if like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Just to give you an idea of the distances, if you were driving at 70 miles per hour, it would take 15 days to drive around Earth. The moon is a five-month trip. Mars? 63 years if it was at its closest. And Neptune? A wild 4,400 years. Even a quick trip inside our solar system is long. Voyager 1, which launched way back in 1977, travels at 38,000 miles per hour. It took till 2012 just to leave our solar system. That is 35 years. Light, which can zip around Earth seven times per second, seems slow when you think about these distances. And the Milky Way, our galaxy, makes our solar system look tiny. Our galaxy has about 300 billion stars, each probably with planets. Our closest star neighbor, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. So, even at the speed of light, it would take over four years to get there. Traveling at 38,000 miles per hour, the speed of Voyager, it would be more like 70,000 years to get to Alpha Centauri. Space is big, very big. There's a star called Velta Rouge, 640 light years away. Our radio waves have been traveling for about a century and have reached about 15,000 star systems. But that's still nothing compared to the number of stars in the Milky Way and where Velta Rouge is located. When you see Rouge at night, you're seeing light that left that star 640 years ago before Columbus sailed to America. It's wild to think about that light traveling all this time to reach us. Our radio sphere, basically all the radio signals we've ever sent out, is just a tiny in the Milky Way. Imagine shrinking our solar system to the size of a quarter, then our galaxy would be the size of the U.S. And in that space, there would be 300 billion star systems with their planets. Past our galaxy, there are a trillion more. I know, a trillion is crazy. Just to put that in perspective, imagine 1,000 cats. Now imagine 1,000 groups of those cats. That's 1 million cats. A trillion is a million times a million. Our closest galaxy neighbor, Andromeda, is 2.5 million light years away and it's zooming toward us. It has about 1 trillion stars. When it crashes into the Milky Way, there will be very few actual star collisions because space is so big. Galaxies aren't just sitting still, they're always moving and doing stuff. We're in a local group of galaxies, which is next to the Virgo Cluster, which has over 1,500 galaxies. And Virgo is part of an even bigger thing called Lania, with 100,000 galaxies. Each of those galaxies has billions of stars and planets. That's not even the whole picture. In the part of the universe we can see, there are 10 million superclusters like Lania. We've mapped a lot of galaxies, but there are hundreds of billions more we haven't fully explored yet. Plus, there's the cosmic background radiation, which is the oldest light, leftover heat from the Big Bang. And beyond all the galaxies, there are huge blank spots called cosmic voids, where there is not a lot of stuff compared to the rest of the universe. These are millions of light years across. There are also cosmic filaments, giant threads of dust, gas, and dark matter that connect galaxies. Space is where crazy things happen, like supernovas, exploding stars that spread stuff around, and black holes that can suck everything in and shoot out energy. Quasars, huge black holes that spit a lot of energy, can outshine entire galaxies. What is beyond the universe we can see? There are even more galaxies we can't see because their light hasn't reached us yet. Since space expands, that light might never reach us. Some folks figure the whole universe is 250 times bigger than what we can see, maybe even infinite. 
It makes you think about our place in all of this. Have you ever thought about just how big everything is? I hope this video gave you a little better idea. Tell me what you think in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, share the video to reach more friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. We're always learning new stuff about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is great and is changing everything. Not only can we see farther into the past, but we can also look at the air around planets and think about life elsewhere. Are we alone? Astronomers have already found thousands of exoplanets orbiting other stars. Lots of them are in the habitable zone, where water and life might exist. Some are Earth-sized, while others are gas giants or icy with underground oceans. The amount of planets hints that life might not be so rare. Dark matter and dark energy make up about 95% of the universe's mass. Dark matter has gravity but doesn't give off light, and dark energy seems to be pushing the universe apart faster and faster. These things are still a mystery. Some people think there might be a multiverse, an endless number of universes, each with different laws. Those universes could be completely separate from ours, or in dimensions we can't see. Even time is different in space. Einstein showed that time slows down near big stuff, like black holes. That has been proven by experiments and shows us how weird space really is. Black holes are in the center of almost every big galaxy. They control how galaxies grow and can shoot energy across space. Wormholes, possible bridges through space, could join far sections and even different universes. It remains a staple of science fiction. Despite all this, we're here on Earth to wonder about the universe, build gadgets to see far away, and imagine other locations. Every picture from a space telescope, every radio wave, every particle that's detected on Earth chips away at the unknown. When we stare at the night sky, we're watching into the past, at the structure of space, and things we don't know yet. The universe shows us our curiosity and our drive to explore. Let's think about Velter Rouge, a star that's 640 light years away. The radio sphere is how far our radio signals have gone in the last 100 years. They've faded a lot, but they've reached about 15,000 star systems. But that's still a tiny fraction of the stars in the Milky Way. If you look at Velter Rouge tonight, you're seeing light that left the star 640 years ago, about 100 years before Columbus sailed to America. That light has been traveling all that time. It's wild to think Velter Rouge is actually pretty close on a cosmic scale. To help imagine this, if our solar system were the size of a quarter, the Milky Way would be the size of the United States. So we are one out of 300 billion star systems floating in that vast area. Beyond our galaxy, there are at least a trillion more. A trillion is a huge number. Think of 1,000 groups of 1,000 cats, that's a million cats. Now imagine multiplying that million by another million. Our closest galaxy is Andromeda, about 2.5 million light years away. It's zooming towards us and things will look different in the night sky as it gets closer. Andromeda has about 1 trillion stars. When it crashes into the Milky Way, which has 300 billion stars, the chances of any stars actually hitting each other are low. That's because space is so big. But, galactic crashes might even make it easier for life to spread between stars and galaxies. Galaxies aren't still, they're always moving and changing. Beyond our galaxy, there's a local group of galaxies, and further out, there's the Virgo cluster with over 1,500 galaxies. Virgo is part of an even bigger supercluster called Lania, which has around 100,000 galaxies. And each of those galaxies has hundreds of billions of stars and planets. That's only a small part of the picture. In the observable universe, there are maybe 10 million similar superclusters. As we zoom out, we see more and more galaxies that have been mapped. But those are just a tiny fraction of what's out there. There are hundreds of billions of galaxies that haven't been fully mapped yet. There's also the cosmic background radiation, which is the oldest light we can see. It's the leftover heat from the Big Bang. The size of the universe gets even crazier when you think about what's beyond the galaxies. There are areas called cosmic voids where there's hardly any matter. 
These voids are huge, hundreds of millions of light years across, and seem empty. But they might be where future galaxies form. Then there are cosmic filaments, which are like giant threads of dust, gas, and dark matter connecting galaxies and galaxy clusters over billions of light years. These filaments make up a cosmic web that holds the universe together with gravity. The stuff in the universe isn't spread out evenly, it's in this web pattern, with galaxies clustered together and connected by filaments. Space is a huge place with a ton of stuff happening. Supernovas, exploding stars, spread elements throughout the cosmos, helping to create new stars and planets. Black holes have crazy gravity and can shape how galaxies grow. They can also shoot out jets of energy that go way out into space. We find things like quasars way out in space. These are super big black holes that eat matter and blast out tons of energy. Quasars can outshine whole galaxies and help us study the early universe. So, what's beyond the part of the universe that we can see? Well, there are probably galaxies we just can't see because their light hasn't reached us yet. Space keeps expanding and galaxies keep moving, so the light from most of those distant galaxies will never reach us. Those areas might always be a mystery. But, based on what we know about physics, the whole universe is likely at least 250 times bigger than what we can see. Some people think it might even be infinite. That makes you think about what the universe is and what we're doing here on this little planet. Thinking about all this makes you wonder about our lives and what we mean in the big picture. So, have you ever wondered how vast our universe is? Hopefully, this video has helped you grasp how huge the cosmos looks. Leave a comment, and if you liked the video, hit the like button, share it, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. As we learn more about space, we need to understand the things we know about the universe that consistently change. New tools are opening up possibilities that science fiction could only reach. These tools let us look at the atmospheres of planets to answer are we alone in the universe. People have found planets revolving stars light years away. Some of these planets are inhabitable zones, which could mean water and life as we know it can exist. But even beyond the search for life, the universe itself holds countless mysteries. Consider dark matter and dark energy, two components that make up about 95% of the total mass energy content of the universe. Dark matter exerts gravitational effects but emits no light, helps explain the movement of galaxies and the structure of the cosmic web. Dark energy, however, is the force thought to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. Some physicists propose that our universe might be just one of an infinite number of universes, each with its own physical laws, dimensions, and potential for life. Time, too, is relative in the universe. As Einstein's theory of relativity demonstrates, time slows down near massive objects, a phenomenon known as gravitational time dilation. This means that time on a space station orbiting close to a black hole would pass more slowly than on Earth. Speaking of black holes, these aren't just cosmic vacuum cleaners. They're engines of extreme physics. At the center of almost every large galaxy lies a supermassive black hole millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun. These beasts can shape the growth of galaxies. Even more exotic are wormholes, hypothetical bridges through space seam that could theoretically connect distant parts of the universe or even different universes altogether. Still very unstable theories.